In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at 36 troy ounces of silver and 85% of a troy ounce of gold. And we're gonna figure out exactly how much it's worth in fiat dollar bills and why it's worth that much. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and gold. More specifically, I wanted to talk about roughly $2,500 worth of silver and gold and the importance of not measuring your wealth in dollars. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise, to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Sunday, July 18th, 2021. That's actually not true. It's, believe it or not, Friday, July 16th, 2021, as I'm filming the video. The market is currently closed, so spot price should be locked in place for the weekend. Spot price of silver is $25.64, red down 68 cents, and the spot price of gold is $1,812.20, also red, down $17.20, and the current gold to silver ratio is in the 69 to 70 range this is the first time i've seen the gold to silver ratio creep back into the 70 range in quite a little while but of course that's as i'm filming the video not as i'm editing posting or as you're watching it so head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you i'm always curious but today i wanted to talk about some silver and some gold, more specifically 36 troy ounces of silver and 85% of a troy ounce of gold. Now I'm not using this amount of silver and gold for any particular reason. That just happened to be what I had on screen a couple of minutes ago while I was doing my very first ever live stream on Twitch. That's right. I just created a Twitch account. It's at MikeyDYDSS. Just like my YouTube, just like my Twitter, just like my Instagram, everything is at MikeyDYDSS. So if you have a Twitch account, if you watch live streams over there, give me a follow. I'll leave the link in the description. I might be doing some more live streams. It was actually pretty fun. But on screen, I just happen to have 36 ounces of silver. I had a 10-ounce sunshine bar, a 5-ounce sunshine bar, a 10-ounce silver bull bar, a 5-ounce Aztec calendar bar. I had a 2-ounce silver kraken two American silver eagles, a Canadian maple leaf, and an Australian kangaroo. And that's just silver. When it comes to gold, I had a 10th ounce Britannia, a 10th ounce Kookaburra, a 10th ounce Krugerrand, a 10th ounce Philharmonic, a 10th ounce Eagle, a 10th ounce Maple, and a quarter ounce Philharmonic. Now, in no way, shape, or form is this all of my silver. In no way, shape, or form is that all of my gold. It's just what I happen to have on screen at the time. So what I'm going to do really quick is include a very short clip from my Twitch live stream that I just finished up. Don't worry, it's only 30 seconds long. And then I'm going to hop right back on and we're going to crunch some numbers. Here's a clip. Here we go. And figure out how much all of this is worth in fiat currency dollar bills. Like I said before, the spot price of gold is over 1800 bucks. So, 10th, 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 10th quarter. And then the spot price of silver is $25 and change, excluding a premium. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 5, 10, 5, 10. You can add that all up. You can do the math. I don't know off the top of my head. So, yeah, that right there was a 30 second clip from a roughly 30 minute live stream that I did on Twitch. I'm not going to be streaming there every single night, but from time to time, I probably will. In that stream, we talked quite a bit about silver and gold. And believe it or not, we talked a little bit about stocks as well. We talked about ETFs and index funds, and it's pretty cool. I like to mix and match it up a little bit. I like paying attention to the stock market and real estate and really all realms of 
personal finance. I, it just interests me. I can't really help it. But by the way, speaking of stocks, if you want to get two free stocks, download Webull. I'll leave the link in the description. If you deposit $5, you get two free stocks, which is pretty cool. How often can you get free stocks? Link in the description. But I wanted to talk more about the silver and gold today because that image from when I was streaming, I'll put the image right back up right here, 36 troy ounces of silver and 85% of a troy ounce of gold. According to the current spot price, which I said earlier, silver at least, $25.64. Now let's just exclude the premium for a second. Let's go by spot price. $25.64 multiplied by 36 troy ounces of silver equals $923.04. It's funny, because when I started stacking silver about three and a half years ago, spot price was only 17 bucks and actually declined for my first year. So I was able to get a whole bunch of silver and 36 ounces of silver wouldn't have been anywhere near $1,000 like this is just about. And then of course, gold sitting at $1,812.20, excluding the premium. If we multiply that by 0 0.85, because 85% of a troy ounce of silver, that equates to $1,540.37. Cents. Now, if we add those two together, it totals $2,463.41 according to the spot price, which is constantly fluctuating. Monday morning, when the markets open back up, silver could be way in the green, gold could be way in the green, and this roughly $2,500 might be closer to $2,600 or $2,700. Spot price is constantly fluctuating, which is why it's really important to not measure your wealth in dollars, but rather in troy ounces. I'll get a little bit more into that momentarily. But now, let's crunch the numbers if we tack on a little bit of a premium. Because silver, silver nowadays, there's always a premium. Gold, you can get the premiums back, especially when it comes to fractional gold as well. People talk about this all the time. So rather than $25.64, let's just round it up to 30 bucks. $30 per troy ounce. $30 multiplied by 36 troy ounces of silver is $1,080. And then of course gold, we don't have to consider it $1,812.20. Let's just round it up to 1,900 bucks. $1,900 multiplied by 0 0.85 equals $1,615. Now, if we add those two together, it totals $2,695 according to stack price, not spot price, stack price, which is something that I came up with, a concept that I designed. It's spot price plus the average premium per troy ounce, because that's really what we're paying nowadays. There's no such thing as an at-spot deal anymore, unfortunately. Hard pill to swallow. I miss those deals as well. But the reason I wanted to add these numbers together, the reason I wanted to crunch the numbers and show how much they're worth in fiat currency glorified debt note IOU dollar bills is to showcase the inconsistency. Like I said, if Monday morning the precious metals are way in the green, then that total is going to be a little bit or potentially significantly higher. But what if we open up way in the red? What if the precious metal market really starts to bleed? What happens if there's a massive sell-off? What happens if there's a really extreme correction? and we drop significantly. What if March of 2020 2.0 happens and spot price gets chopped nearly in half? What then? It might not be worth $2,500 in dollars. It might be worth $1,800 for all we know. Spot price can move in any direction at any time. Now, some people might listen to what I'm saying right now and be like, wow, what kind of investment is that? And that's just the thing. The silver and the gold, the precious metals, 
They're not an investment. I do not consider them an investment. I've never considered them an investment. Since the very beginning, I came to realize that it's a store of value. It's wealth preservation for the long term. It's just simply a way of saving. Now, like I said, spot price can be a little bit sporadic. It could be volatile. It could be up. It could be down. A red day, a green day, a super red day, a light green day, and then it closes in the red again. It could be all over the place. It's inconsistent to go 100% by spot price. But you want to know what else is inconsistent? The dollar bill. That's why, or that's partially why, spot price is as sporadic as it is. So in a world of inconsistencies, I personally like to break things down and search for what's consistent, what's absolute. For example, how much silver and gold you have in your possession, how much you've acquired over X amount of days, weeks, months, years, or decades. Now, I personally do not disclose how much silver and gold I have. I don't think that's a very smart idea. Very similar to how most people probably don't disclose how much they have in their savings account or their checking account. At the end of the day, it's just really nobody's business. So that's just something that I keep to myself. But the amount of silver that I have, it's absolute. It's consistent. No matter what spot price does, no matter what the health and well-being of the dollar bill looks like, no matter the condition of the economy, no matter anything, that 36 ounces of silver is still 36 ounces of silver. That 85% of an ounce of gold is still 85% of an ounce of gold. And that will not change. The only way that can change is if you part ways with your silver. If you get yourself 100 ounces of silver and you hold on to it forever, it will always be 100 ounces of silver. And that's how you're supposed to measure the precious metals. You're not supposed to go by the dollar bill value because number one, the dollar bill value of anything is fake. The dollar bill is a man-made invention. The silver and the gold, they've always been viewed as real true honest money for thousands and thousands of years long before any of us got here, and it'll continue to be that way long after we're all gone. Silver and gold, internationally recognized as money, no matter where you go. The silver and gold, constitutionally recognized as money. Silver and gold, biblically recognized as money. The Old Testament, the New Testament, silver and gold have always been money. The dollar bill is currency, it's fiat, it's fake. It was originally designed to be simply an IOU. And guess what? IOU silver or IOU gold. We used to be on the gold standard, not anymore. So the dollar bill, how much it's worth, its purchasing power, its health and well-being, and what it's backed by, since its creation has been inconsistent. The silver and gold are absolute. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you how you should look at the precious metals. I'm just explaining how I look at the precious metals. I no longer view them in dollars. I will be honest, when I first got started, measuring them in dollars is definitely how I did it. I'm pretty sure that's how everybody does it when they first get started. In fact, the guy who introduced me to silver, he showed me a picture of a couple of his coins, rounds, and bars, and I remember asking him, whoa, how much is that worth? And I don't exactly remember how many ounces of silver. Let's just say it was 50 ounces of silver in the picture. I said, how much is that worth? And he said, 50 ounces of silver. I said, well, yeah, but how much is it worth? And he told me, it's worth 50 ounces of silver. What are you talking about? But how much is it worth, though? He's like, it's worth 50 ounces of silver. I don't know what you want me to say. I was like, how, what, what about in dollars? And he was like, I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter. 
I measure my wealth in troy ounces, not in dollars. It doesn't matter how much it's worth in dollar bills. The reason I converted my dollar bills into the silver in the first place is because I was trying to get away from the dollar bills. Why would I still think about them? And at the time, I was like, oh, yeah, that makes no sense. Okay, see you later, Stephen. <laughs> All right, take care. Best of luck. I didn't understand. I didn't get it. I couldn't grasp it at first. But I knew that silver and gold, the precious metals, I knew I wanted to be involved. I loved the idea of it. I thought it was cool. I will be honest, I thought it was extremely old school. And it is. But guess what? More often than not, old school works. And old school is better. Nine times out of ten. So I like the fact that Historically, their money. I like the fact that they've always been here. It's not some new thing that someone made up and people are just kind of trusting it. It wasn't anything like that. It had always been here. It had history. It's private. It's discreet. It's low key. It's something you could do on your own. And it could potentially hedge against inflation. Yes, please. See, I got involved in silver and gold because I was trying to save money in a smarter way. I wasn't using the silver and gold as a way of making money. The silver and gold is not a cash flow producing asset. If I wanted a cash flow producing asset, I would save up and buy a rental property, which is something that I would like to do eventually. You could also invest in, you know, dividend stocks and whatnot. Friendly reminder, get your two free stocks by downloading Webull. Link in the description. If you download it, we both get free stocks. All you have to do is deposit $5. And then once you're fun settle, you can transfer that $5 back to your bank account. So you're not out $5. Link in the description. But anyway, I didn't start stacking the silver and gold because I was looking for cash flow. I started stacking the silver and the gold because I knew tough times were ahead economically. I knew something was going to happen. I didn't know what it was going to be. But something was telling me I should probably prepare myself couple years, maybe a decade or so down the road, something's going to happen. This was in 2017. Two and a half years later, boom, 2020 happened. Am I going to sit here and say that I predicted it? Absolutely not. I had a feeling something was going to happen. Didn't know it was going to be that. Didn't know it was going to be that soon. Had no idea. But I had a feeling that I should start to prepare, which is why I also started to prepare in other ways as well. I got myself the water purification unit. I got myself the food dehydrator to make fruits and vegetables last months, potentially years. I got myself the portable power station that can be charged via solar. I got myself the portable cooking stove and campfire to stay warm or to cook if I needed to. All of those links will be in the description as well. I'll put some Amazon affiliate links as I always do. But point being is I knew that I had to build myself a multifaceted preparation system and one of the facets had to be financial prepping as well. At the time I had no idea what I was doing. At the time I didn't even know where to begin. At the time, I had no idea how to start, so I figured, I don't know how to start, so let me just start and learn as I go. And when I started, I was 100% measuring my wealth in dollars. I was saying, oh, this is, you know, $20 worth of silver. I had a, a, an ounce of silver in my hand. This is $20 worth of silver. Spot price was 17 bucks. Tack on a little bit of a premium. I rounded it up to 20 because it was just the solid number at the time. $20 worth of silver didn't even realize at the time it's not twenty dollars worth of silver that's a troy ounce of silver anyway i've been talking for too long i want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and how do you measure your wealth do you look at it as x amount of dollars worth or do you look at it as x amount of troy ounces worth of the precious metals and if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. 
I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. A bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And, of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? In terms of measuring your wealth in dollars versus measuring your wealth in troy ounces, how do you measure your silver and your gold? How do you calculate the silver and the gold? If you are more in line with my view and that it should be measured in troy ounces, so what I had on screen before, 36 ounces of silver and 85% of an ounce of gold? If you view it that way, did you view it that way all along? Or did you view it the other way? Were you measuring it in dollar bills? Would you have said that's $2,500 worth of silver and gold back when you first got started stacking? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.